you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a mystery box unboxing. It's been a while since I've picked up a mystery box and I have been seeing everybody talk about the Melt Cosmetics mystery boxes. So I picked up their December box and I'm gonna be unboxing this for you guys today. So I'm really curious to see what's in here. So I hope you guys are all excited about today's video. If you are, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Melt Cosmetics large mystery box and I paid $7. $75 for this box. So it says that the value of this box is $245. To be honest, I can't even think of a single Melt Cosmetics product like that I own in my collection. Like I'm pretty sure I don't own anything from this brand. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. I really hope it's good. So here is what the box looks like. It looks cute. So the first thing is a palette. It is nice and bubble wrapped. Everything looks like it is very like well secured in here. So here is the palette that comes in this mystery box. I really like the packaging of this. This is the Millennial, I'm assuming pinks palette or pink, I don't know why they wrote it like that. And then the actual palette also has like this studded detail, I love that. So here are the shades. This palette actually does look very pretty. So let's go ahead and swatch this palette and see how these shades look. So first up we have Rose Brunch. Pink leather. Flamingo dream. Oh, that's watched very nicely. Mixed emotions. Modern love. Ruby spar. Wow, that's gorgeous. Pink noise. It's like a duochrome. I feel like it almost looks green, like if you tilt it a certain way, but it is a pink shade. Moon Glow. GF. And Euphoria. All right, so there are the shades swatched. I'm very impressed by these swatches. Like the quality feels amazing. And I actually think the palette looks a lot prettier swatched. Like I really do like the color story. So I'm definitely excited to have gotten an eyeshadow palette in this mystery box. Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, I'm pretty sure are very expensive, which is why I don't own any. So yeah, I'm excited that I got that in this mystery box. All right, so I hope the rest of this box is good as well. So it looks like the next thing in here is a liquid highlighter. I didn't even know that they had liquid highlighters, but this is their digital liquid highlighter in the shade Fetish. So here is what it looks like. Okay, so I guess, I don't, is this a dropper? Yeah, okay. I guess it's a dropper style liquid highlighter. And let's go ahead and swatch the shade. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like I definitely would not wear this. I'm not really big into pink highlighters. I feel like it's a little bit sheer and I don't know, it's just not something I would wear. So I'm not very excited about that. Okay, so next up we got a cream blush. And this is in the shade Golden Hour. So here is what it looks like. Very pretty. Let's see how pigmented this is. Feels very creamy. There is it on the finger. Okay, so it's pretty sheer, but it is a very pretty shade. This is definitely a shade that I would wear. It does almost look like it has a little bit of like a glow to it. Like there's definitely some shimmer in there, which I normally don't like, but I feel like this shade will actually look really pretty in like the summertime. So yeah, I'm actually excited about that. So, so far two good things. One thing I'm not very excited about. And next up we have, it looks like another highlighter. So this is the Melt Cosmetics highlighter and this is in the shade Pink Moon. So I'm assuming that this box is like pink themed. I don't know, I just feel like we've gotten a lot of pink products so far. So here is what the highlighter looks like. Okay, that actually looks really pretty. Wow. It does look a little bit dark for my skin tone, but I am gonna swatch it to show you guys. It doesn't feel like very creamy or anything. It feels like a little bit of a drier formula, but let's go ahead and swatch that. So yeah, definitely too dark for my skin tone, but I could always use this as an eyeshadow and the shade is very pretty. It's almost like a duochrome pink and I don't know if I would say that there's gold in there or not, but it is a very pretty shade. Next up, we have another face product. This is the Melt Cosmetics Shadow Play Blush Light. So here is what it looks like. Very pretty packaging. Honestly, I didn't even know that Melt Cosmetics had like all of these products. I guess the shade is Shadow Play. That is not what I was expecting. Here's what it looks like. 
So there is it swatched. I'm assuming it's just like a highlighter, but this is like a white, but it almost like kind of looks green whenever you tilt your hand. That is actually very interesting. I'm gonna use it as a highlighter. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm pretty sure this is just a highlighter, but I'm already wearing a bunch of highlighter, but let's just see what happens when we apply some of this. Okay, pretty. Oh, yeah. We got a little too much highlighter going on now, but it is a pretty shade. It does kind of look a little bit green, but I'm not mad about that one. Next up we have an ultra matte gel liner. So this is the gel liner. Okay, this is an interesting shade. Ooh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It reminds me of like a fall type shade for sure. Let's see if we can, I don't know, swatch this. I'll get like a little brush out, a little liner brush, and we can swatch it and see how it looks. Okay, very creamy of an eyeliner, like super creamy. Very pigmented, wow, okay. Next up we have an all day, everyday lip liner. And this is in the shade Cinder. It's an ultra matte lip liner. Okay, this actually looks like a pretty shade that I would wear. Here is what it looks like. Yeah, I would definitely wear a shade like this. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch. There's the shade, I actually really like that. It's like a peachy pink. All right, so, so far so good. I like the lip liner, I think that was a good thing to get. And it looks like we have another lip liner in here. This one's in the shade Scandal. Okay, this one looks like an orangey, kind of like an orangey red almost. I also feel like I will like this shade. Yeah, that's definitely another type of shade that I really like. Okay, so two good lip liner shades. It looks like we only have two things left in here. Okay, so we have the Perfectionist Lip Ultra Precise Pencil. Is this another lip pencil? Okay, we have another lip pencil. That's a little bit too many <laughs> for me. I personally don't use them very often, so not super excited to get three of these. This is in the shade Caffeine. I'm assuming it's gonna be a brown. So this looks like it's a nice brown. Okay, this one's like an actual pencil type, which I don't really like this kind usually. So there is that shade. Not a big fan of this one at all. Yeah, I don't know. I probably would never actually wear that so not super excited about that all right so the last thing that came in this mystery box is their catsuit matte lipstick this is apparently an ultra matte lipstick and here's what the shade looks like okay the detailing on this lipstick is actually like amazing go ahead and do a swatch it's so hard to swatch like this okay that was just a terrible swatch i'll just do it like this all right so this is a very dark kind of like brownish shade all right so that is everything that came in the large Melt Cosmetics December mystery box. Honestly, I'm not like disappointed in the mystery box. I thought it was pretty good. I'll show you guys the things that I'm excited about. And then there were a couple of things that I'm like not too crazy about. So I'm definitely excited about the eyeshadow palette because I don't own any of their eyeshadow palettes. And then I also really do like the cream blush. And then even though this one highlighter was too dark for me, I do think it is very pretty. And then I actually do really like the other highlighter as well. I'm pretty sure this is a highlighter. I don't know, this was kind of an interesting product because it's called a blush light, so maybe it's just like a blush topper. So yeah, I was excited about all of those. And then I also really do like these two lip liner shades that we got right here. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six products that I am excited about. And then there were a few that I'm not too crazy about, like the liquid highlighter, definitely could have done without this. And then the ultra matte gel liner, I feel like it's just okay. Like the product I'm excited about, but the color I'm not the biggest fan of. And then I also do not like this brown lip liner. I'm probably not ever gonna use that. And then the lipstick is just like, okay. I love the detailing on the bullet lipstick. The shade is not my favorite, but I do think it is like a pretty lipstick. So yeah, overall I would say it was a good mystery box. I definitely think it was worth $75. I'm super excited to have these products in my collection now because Melt Cosmetics is expensive. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this mystery box in the comments down below. Do you guys think it was worth the $75? This mystery box is still available on Melt Cosmetics website. I will link it in my description box below if you guys wanna check it out. There's also a small mystery box as well. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also make sure you have your notifications turned on that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.